This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar back here with another SO episode of Nier Automata. I should re-record that, but I'm not going to because I'm lazy. In the last episode, we finished some more side quests. Um, defeated the good, uh, the good father. Or, yeah, father or whatever. Got big. He's got to get bigger, but we're not going to mess with that now. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, I grinded off screen for a couple levels. Um, I also... Got a bunch of like, new chips and fixed my setup a little bit. Uh, what am I equipping with right now? Uh, let's see. I think I just have like critical up and stuff like that. But I do have a build on uh, my chips now for um, uh, drop rate stuff and experience gain, which I was doing off screen. I might. I might keep this equipped for a while, or at least maybe change one of my um, other chips for now. But what I was doing basically off screen is I um, I equipped a drop rate chips, which increased my drop rate to 90%. So you're going to almost most likely have the enemies drop something. The only bad thing is it's not guaranteed a specific drop. And I went to the area where we fought uh, the one guy who popped out of a robot. It was like a human dude. Uh, let's see, it was in the... De Let me see if I can point it out. It was, like, right here. Like, the Coliseum or whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you go back there, um, enemies just, like, keep spawning. And they're, like, level, like, 38 or whatever. So it's actually a decent place to uh, get some experience. Equip some experience and up, up items. Go in there or uh, quit the drop raid items. And uh, they'll drop, like, a lot of stuff. They drop, like, a lot of skill cards or abilities as well as items so uh, I don't have like and they even drop like rare items I can sell like machine cores and stuff like that so I'm not completely cleared but I did it to gain a few levels and so forth oh, so to be your timing is impeccable our Android forces currently have a carrier deployed in the Pacific Ocean it should be back here to resupply before too long the resistance is assisting with the mission so I'd like to ask you to run a little guard duty seriously dead serious there's a stockpile of missiles down at the shoreline that needs to be loaded on the carrier. And with all the machine activity lately, we need to stay on our toes. Of course, if you're already working on something for Yorha, I don't mind if that takes priority. Anyway, thanks in advance. Yeah, it looks like we have to deal with the... Uh, wait, do we... Oh, I just talked to her to get the opportunity to do the mission? Let's, let's see what she says if I go back. Oh, this is just another quest. Okay. A favor, huh? You already owe me, like, a bunch of favors. Well, I am working for humanity, I guess. Hmm. I've already been there. But I already... Oh, satellite camp? Alright. But we've already been there, so they're not really that tough. Well, yeah, we are. We, we're androids. Clear out the enemies. Hmm. Well, that was easy. Camp development, huh? All right. Maybe that means they'll get another camp or something like that. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I'm level 33 right now. And uh, actually, one thing to show you about how the drop rate works uh, on the chips. Let me just show you, like, uh, like uh, for some reason, where I, where, where I went to get all the chips, they drop, like, a bunch of uh, moving speed and evade range up a lot. I mean, there was more, but I actually sold them for some extra dough. Um, it wasn't a ton of money. The chip, the chips themselves, or the skills themselves, don't give you a whole lot. Um, but if if you can give them the drop of uh, machine core, which is pretty good. And there's, where's a meal has moved off to. Um, okay, what am I? Oh yeah, speed star. I need to, I need to sometimes go back and do that. Uh, let's see. I was trying to see if there's anything else before we do side quest stuff. Because I can do Emil's memories over the course. Oh, I do have the levels now. I could finally do um, Parade. Oh, but the mission to start is like right there. Yeah, well, we'll go right there. Why not? I was going to upgrade my... I finally got all the material to upgrade um, my main weapon to level 4. Um, but uh, is he still running around? I know it's our job and all. God, Mia, what these a resistance bag. types sure do use and abuse us, don't they? It's like they see us as a couple of gophers or something. No complaining about your work. 
Exchanging information with the Resistance is a vital part of our mission. Besides, being a gopher is safer than being locked in combat all the time. Not dying beats dying any day. Yeah, that's true. Uh, 9S was just saying what I thought. It was like, aren't they kind of just abusing us? There we go. All you have to do is flip his ass over and he'll... Yeah, you are... You are not a lovable character. I'm sorry. Yeah, why are you? A long story. It's probably nothing... Whatever. Uh, oh, wow, I didn't realize you could get up to plus six in this game. All right, well, that, that'll just give me an idea of what to work for over the course of the game. I don't, I don't think he had plus six before when he first taught him. I think he just had the basic version. Uh, plus 28, holy cow, it's... I think that's the reason why you don't want to straight up buy like stuff is that the cost is maybe not at its max, but it's pretty high. If you end up if you fuse chips together, if you can find them, it's usually cheaper to do that. But you have to actually get them to drop in the first place. But man, you know, yeah, twenty eight for all of them, man. Well, I was thinking about buying some stuff from you, but you already have maxed out stuff, and I don't. Well, I don't know if that's the highest you can go, but that's not. Yeah, we didn't even buy anything. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but I didn't buy anything, dude. Well, anyway, let's do the chips. Yeah, when we when we met them before, they weren't like plus six. I should have bought them at the time, because, you know, like I said, I don't think there's any way to reduce chips at the same level unless you fuse them together, so. Let me look at the map again. It kind of looks like it's supposed to be down here somewhere. really seen anything or hmm. I might have to cut to when I actually find the where the mission goes because I have no clue oh there it is how did I miss that uh, I must have just jumped over like an idiot no I went over here I think I grabbed this or grabbed something around the side and then I just went down thinking that maybe I had to maybe there's something below it all right well color me color me idiot anywho or at least I hope this is the way I'm supposed to go. Have we been in these sewers before? Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know you could slide in the sewers. Well, actually, I didn't know they had a... As far as we can hear Emil's music from the... From, like, above. Yeah, the annoying thing about the Emil stuff is I was fighting that the father, or whatever you want to call him, during a wall... His music was in the background. It was kind of annoying after a while. Like, at first, it's kind of like, ah, it's silly music. And then after, like, doing that fight for, like, 30 minutes, I was like, shut up! Okay, maybe it wasn't that bad, but still, I was slightly, I was slightly lackluster in my enthusiasm. I was just looking to see if there's any dropped. I don't think any robots are going to be appearing. For, for a hot minute just because uh, my network's not working too well, so we can... Oh, now we can teleport here. Must be a whole new area. I was also looking up how to, like, update, like, my pods and stuff like that, and it looks like the material I need for my pods uh, wasn't till now. I think this is the area where I can actually get the stuff. Lo and behold, good viewers, the flooded city. This is where I need pure water for my pods, because I was wondering when I could update those things. I was I was looking up online how to find pods, because I was like, you know what, if I'm going to at least grind for stuff, I at least want to have a general idea of like where where I need to go. And then it said, and it told me where it was supposed to be. I'm like, flooded city, I don't even know what... And then I was like, well, I guess I can't get it yet. And then lo and behold, the next section of the game. Uh, I mean, it's not the only thing I need. I need pure water. But they say it's basically randomly, it's at random drop points in this level, so if I collect it along the way, I can update my pods. I think it's like 10 per pod or something like that. I'll have to look online and see how much I actually need. But I'll do, like, item stuff, grinding stuff like that off screen, because there's no, no fun in watching uh, someone do that all day. 
I don't know who would have fun doing that all day, frankly. Really, I'm just huh, checking for those collectibles. But what? what do you mean? That's near the flooded city, or the robots, or the do you, do you see a new dress, or? Engaging. Pot, analyze the enemy. I can't even hurt them. Well, I mean, I'm hurting them, but I'm like doing like no damn. Uh, like, you can tell that the HP bar is not going down. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa! This is interesting. I wonder why I'm not hurting them. Well, I'm hurting. Well, actually, it looks like I'm hurting them. It's just taking forever. Dude, I'm like. I'm like seven levels ahead of you, or eight levels ahead of you. I should be. You know. Jesus Christ, that took forever. Yeah, one of them makes a noise like, ugh, and falls over. So they must have been like unique creatures or something, because. They had specific, they, obviously they looked unique, and then they had different, they had dialogue when you killed them, not just, you know, they die, they were just like, yeah, that took me like a couple more minutes, that was, that was ridiculous. I mean, was that part of a quest that I missed or something? I, I don't know, man, but, uh, I don't know how much of that I'm going to cut and keep in, I might just, you might just see me fighting the guys and then all of a sudden see the end of it, so we'll see what happens. Because I'm not going to spend like 30 minutes on a dude that's like a random encounter. Or I'm not going to show that, because that's just dumb. That's not entertaining. At least I don't think that's entertaining. That gets boring after a while. That's why boss fights shouldn't take forever to finish in games, you know? Like, they should be tough, and they should be cin cinematic to a point, but after a while, it's just like, okay, good lord. Yeah, I don't know what they were. They must have been either a quest or something. Maybe they were a rare encounter, like, like a group of... of robots that you counter every once in a while that they might have good drops or something like that. Target but I decided to unequip my... Is that what we need to protect? I guess I should... Well, I should... You know, I'm just gonna leave drop. You know, I, I, I said I was gonna leave drop and ex... you know, experience stuff. Let's take them out already like so I can be on or for off dinner the, or on. Androids don't need to bathe. As long as you perform regular yeah. cleaning and maintenance, bathing is unnecessary. Yeah, but come on, 2B. It still feels good. Yeah, sure it does. Actually, I'm beating these regular guys pretty easily, so maybe I'll um, swap back up to my high drop and experience uh, build. That way I can have more stuff to sell. Because even if I don't, even if I don't draw, even if I don't use the the skill things, although I'm probably going to now that I know that things can get up to at least plus six, if not higher than that. I'm kind of wondering how far they go because it seems it they must go higher at a at a point because it it does seem a little a little like low. I mean, this is for my level currently. Like I assume a meal has stuff that is possible for me me to get currently. The only reason I don't have plus six stuff is because. Two B nine S, come in. Commander, emergency orders incoming. The carrier ship that was set to resupply has come under attack. It's currently being engaged by a swarm of machines. I've asked all your troops in the city ruins for assistance, and I'll need you to provide backup as well. I'm sending flight units and coordinates now. Good luck. Out. You see, all right. Total slave driver. Whoops. If she didn't order others around, upgrade? what kind of leader would she be? Hmm. If you say so. I bet you're secretly into that 9S. And I just have a feeling you like getting whipped. You like having that... Crack that whip. Licorice whip. Na -na 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 -na. Anyway, sorry. Alright, let's go on with the story now. To infinity and beyond! That's nice to have a 
flight section again. These are always a nice little change of pace from the hack and slash. It looks like we have 9S helping us this time this time around as an extra pilot, which is nice. Ow. I didn't even got hit by that, frankly. But yeah, I guess the... Yeah, I forgot that some of the, the range stuff you can't shoot back or shoot and destroy. You know, it actually almost reminds me of a... Other than an obvious shooter or whatever. It kind of almost reminds me of Macross Saga. Or whatever it's called in Japan, or the original name for it. I watched that series, well, I, I think I remember watching that series, like, on, like, some late night channel that used to show sci-fi stuff. And it wasn't, like, sci-fi channel, because this was before that. But they would randomly show anime, like, old school anime, too. And I think my uncle had a few, uh, I think he had a full, few of the novels, too. Uh, I don't think he ever watched the show, rest in peace. Uh, yeah, he died way too young. He had a heart condition. Found him, uh, found him just sitting in front of his computer playing a game and his heart gave out. Yeah. Well, at least he did what he was allowed, I guess. He was always a fan of playing computer games and stuff like that. And he played the old computer games like, uh, uh, Hearts of Iron and stuff like that. You know, those old, or Panzer General and stuff like that. They, they were like, um, grid-based, uh, World War II simulators and stuff like that. But anyway, he had the books and stuff like that. But uh, but yeah. Blue Ridge Two, requesting support from any friendly units in range. We've come under heavy fire from the enemy. Our escort ship has taken damage and is unable to engage. We're currently resisting with all remaining support fighters, but we can't hold them off for long. I repeat, this is Carrier Blue Ridge Two. We need immediate backup from any available Android forces. Are you done? I was just, just going to wait until you finish. But yeah, Macro Saga. I, I, I never read any of the novels or the graphic novels or whatever they had based off of it. I watched the cartoon up to... Uh, there was, the I think, the three different seasons. I don't know what the three seasons are called. And they weren't... There was there was the one where, you know, they had the white ship or whatever it's called. It wasn't called the white ship, was it? It was basically the big ship got teleported to, like, Pluto or whatever. And then they had to make their way back, and the, the whole series is them. Nice. I think that's for killing like a bunch of units in Sky Mode or whatever. Looks to be 2.8 clicks southwest of us. Well, it looks like it's a UFO or a Goliath fire. I assume because of my level, I'm doing, I'm leading through the HP a little bit faster than what I normally would. That's one of the benefits of leveling up, so it doesn't take certain sections longer than it should. The only problem is if I kill them too quickly, you don't really see what they can do, but I think in this section, we pretty much know what they can do, so I'm not, I don't feel too bad with beating them so fast. Enemy aerial unit destroyed. Reverting back to area recon. Wait, I'm still picking up a large enemy presence. Didn't I kill that already? What on... If it's that big, we should be able to see it. Well, that's new. <laughs> Well, this is a whale of a tail. It's freaking huge. It's freaking huge. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, actually, what is this? Is it like a machine, uh, like fish or something like that? Or I'm not sure. You didn't get to see the rest of its body. You know, that actually, it looks kind of freaky now that I think about it. Whoa. Crap. It's blocking close range attacks with EMP blasts. We've got to find another way to damage it. Okay. To be, command is attempting to launch a satellite laser strike on your target, but the enemy's electromagnetic camouflage is making it impossible to aim. We need you to find the emitter and take it out. Oh, is that all? I know, I know, but it's the only way. EMP generator target confirmed. Marking on map. Proposal: 
Destroy the generator quickly. Was 2B getting sassy there for a minute? <laughs> it sounded like she was. Oops. She needs to stop with the sassafras. No. Uh, but, uh, man, that thing's big. It's like a big old battleship or something. Now I'm going to just say whale just, just because I want to say whale. Free Willy or uh, Moby Dick or whatever you want to go with. I'm good either way. Enemy data obtained from command. Go ahead. The only known record of this machine life form is a lone sighting 320 years ago. Upon reaching land, the unit unleashed a devastating electromagnetic wave attack. All resistance fighters in the vicinity were annihilated. So basically, if this thing reaches land, we're screwed. Affirmative. I actually ran through the laser, but it didn't do a ton of damage to me, so I'm, I'm okie dokie, artichoke. Uh, what was I going to say about Macross? Yeah, the first series was them getting back to Earth by the ship getting teleported to Pluto and then having to make their way back against an alien force which originally owned the ship. Uh, but then they find out during the course of their journey that other than surviving, they find out that the aliens are weak to music or something, something like that. So, or, or no, they, were, they weren't weak, they were infatuated. Or maybe it was a combination. It was like they were weak but infatuated with music at the same time. As, uh, up here's the big old balls of doom. I guess we have to destroy each of the little, little mini orbs or whatever. And then if we get hit, we get hurt. There goes one ball. One ball! Ah, ah, ah. I'm getting hit! Ah, ah, ah. Bad call. Ba, ba, ba. I actually hit them. I didn't think you could. Because if it's placed in the right wrong direction, I can't see it. Um, see, the second season was... I don't remember. I mean, that was this... Because there was one where it was years later and the alien race had uh, had decided to live on Earth after after beating after beating them. Like, we destroyed, they destroyed like, their ships so they couldn't go back, so they decided to integrate themselves back on Earth. But I'm not sure if that's Season 2 or if that's Season 3. Electromagnetic interference eliminated. Preparing for satellite laser strike. Ooh, what a laser. They're okay, still up and on. running, though, so we're not quite done. It's got an electromagnetic barrier over its whole body? Well, it's just cheating. They use cheat codes. <laughs> Having trouble over there? Are you Yorha? Hunter Squadron deploying out of North 12C Defense HQ. I'm the commanding officer, 4B. Don't worry, we'll take it from here. Or B, is she like my? Let's is she like a layer of reinforcements? Or? I have an idea. You and I should meet up at the spot I just marked. We've got mortars lining the shoreline here. All the EMP shielding in the world won't help against close range mortar fire. Got it. Is it time to shoot him with a big ass cannon? Whoa! That thing is huge! All right, just time to put a big old gun in his mouth. Yeah, pretty much. I'll that reminds help me of Resident Evil 3, the the newer one. Should I just fire whenever? This oh, maybe to wait till it's closer. Thick. We need more firepower. To be, let's try for a more direct approach. Direct? Oh, right. That's right. Lay down some fire in its stupid mouth. Yay! Have a bite of this. Yum, yum, yum. Mm, tastes good! Just keep opening up your mouth, dude. Can I even? No, I can't even. I have to wait for it till it's like right in his mouth or whatever. Because I can't control the. Oh, my miss. I can't control, like, the. Um, the reticle. So I just have to. I guess guess or push the button at the right time, so. Yeah, that's fine. I don't. Even though it's in manual mode, I can't actually manually change it. There we go.
We got a bail, 2B. This is bad. Great, we got saved by the by the peace that patrol. Machine is an ancient <laughs> weapon. It was designed to help annihilate the android, but it wound up going out of control. I was part of the machine's network when it happened, so I remember it. The moment it reached land, it went berserk and began attacking everything in sight. No one could figure out how to stop it. They eventually marooned it deep in the ocean. But it seems to be searching for a way back. Huh. Hey, Tubi. No, thanks. I so it's all your idea. fault? No. You keep that thing right where it is, okay? What? Please, Tubi. This is gonna work. Oh, well, now I'm on my own. Thanks, 9S. Proposal. 9S should be reported to command as a deserter. No! Yes, he, he should be. Plan. Hold on. I like how the pod just like immediately, you know, doesn't have feelings about that, that stuff. It's just like he's a deserter. Report him. Pascal, do you t even do anything? 2B, I'm going to see if we can use those missiles back on the shore. But I need you to destroy the EMP unit on that thing's back. Otherwise, they're just going to go off course. On. Ah, ouch. Oh, ha, ha. oh, dang, this ain't good. I got caught in the corner. That happens to me sometimes in shooters where I'll just be like, I won't be paying attention well enough at all. I accidentally, like, I should have equipped it. I should have changed out the destroy um, destroy one and, and swapped it out to the you know heal over time. Oh, well. The Viv sent butts for me. But yeah, I mean, I've lost a bit of health, but I can't even aim for the. But so you can't really keep moving stuff out of my way. Dude. That one shouldn't take very long. These are just balls sitting out there in the middle of nowhere waiting to be shot. Some balls don't can't just wait to die. Why are you here, Pascal? You're not even doing anything. You're just sitting there. Unless I can control her somehow, which I doubt it. Her, him. I don't know. I keep saying her because it's a female voice that comes out of it, so I just assume. But, but I think they said Pascal was... Actually, why am I, why am I talking about this? They're robots. Anyway, let's fight this thing. Let's keep fighting. Yep. Mouth's open. Ah. Oh, that hurt. Didn't kill me, but he was just like, get away from me, mosquito. I'm like, I'm not a mosquito. I'm a 2B unit. But yeah, I wonder what it means to be, like, another B unit or whatever. Is that someone... I mean, she was 4B, right? So that means she's a later model of hers. You know, like, what's her function and all that. But it doesn't sound like it's really something the game's looking, or looking to explain, because it's probably not important. Just that they're another model, and that's it. Another robot, the Yorha forces, or whatever. I guess I don't need to know. It's just one of those things you kind of think about when, when it comes to like, you know, robot or labeling and stuff like that. You know, usually they label them in order of like different series functions and all that other stuff. I mean, I assume they went into some detail about it because usually Ota. Oter type of game makers like that make games like these usually kind of keep those considerations in the, in the mind, or at least they have someone doing like, uh, golly, there's a lot of flying balls of doom. Oh, yeah. You know, I haven't been using my uh, special ability. Oh man, I.
Yeah, I, I just realized I have my special ability and I haven't been using it. Why do I keep doing that? It's it's. I don't know why, man. This map seems to be weird because my my movement and targeting thing is like being a little funky. I think it's because of the perspective of the, of the counter. It's a bit weird. What is that thing? Is that is Yeah. I mean, it's not like it does a like, crazy amount of extra damage, but... Yeah, see, like, I'm... It's... Oh, it's because of the perspective. Yeah, the perspective is weird, because if you go up, you're going kind of forward and down, and it's kind of messing with my steez, man. Missile launcher. Three. Two. One. Two. and rescue party for the missing Yorha members at once. To be. Nine S. Don't die on me. And they died. Sorry, sorry, Miss Operator Lady or Commander or whatever. Looks like your main heroes are dead. Well, Huh, he died standing up. I guess he died doing what he loved. Or, wait. Anyway, we survived. Yeah, of course we survived. Did you think we were dead? No. 2B to bunker. Come in. Over. Operator to 2B? 2B, are you alright? Running system diagnostics. Core functionality appears intact. Thank goodness. Never mind that. I need a status report. Roger that. In regards to the giant machine that attacked the shore. It ceased its resistance eight hours ago, following your missile strike. Eight hours? However, its EMP strikes knocked out comms all across the region. We're having trouble getting them back online. Which means data uploading is currently unavailable in some areas. Where's 9S? Um, yeah, about that. We picked up a faint black box reading, but it wasn't strong enough to lock down his position. If you found something, that means he must be alive. Put in a request to the commander for immediate approval to begin a search. Actually, the commander has already ordered us to prioritize tracking down surviving Yorha members. If you find 9S, let me know, okay? Will do. To be out. Uh, if you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. Huh. Oh, can I, I not grab the... For any nearby black box signals. Scanning complete. No signals detected. However, a dynamic scanner is required for detection of weaker signals. Never heard of it. Said dynamic scanner may be located in the resistance camp. Proposal. Further information should be obtained from the resistance leader. Let's go. I thought I could collect her. That's why I was waiting to check it. Oh, she's still alive. Good. It's not like I wanted any pieces or whatever of her chipset. I mean, uh, good to be alive. I'm not... I'm not trying to, like, cannibalize you like the good android I am, but, man, it looks like a lot of stuff happened in this episode. I mean, one was fighting that one robot forever, which I'm probably not going to show most of it because I was dumb. The golden robot, I mean. Fighting that big fish monster thing? Now, that was fine. That would be in that one, but... Ugh. Oh, she can't speak, huh? Well, okay, maybe she can't speak. Affirmative. She will be survived. By others, I guess. But anyway, looks like uh, looks like we got our work ahead of us. If 9S has gone AWOL, and uh, and we're on our own. So, in the next episode of Near Automata, we'll see if the Resistance have the scanner that we need, and see what our uh, well, what we can do to find 9S. Cause, right, we he's just our partner, right? We don't care anything more about him other than that, right? 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.